Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So if you're new, hi, I'm Alexis. I'm pretty sure most of you guys will be new because this is the first video I have on my channel. For today's look, I just did this natural everyday look. This is kind of the look that I go to when I'm just gonna run some errands if I have the time to do makeup. It's a, I would call it like an everyday natural look i love this look i feel like it's so pretty it's so youthful i love the gloss i usually don't wear lashes but i had the time to put on lashes today so i think it came out really really well um i hope you guys like the video so if you guys want to see how i get this look then just keep watching okay first i'm gonna start off with primer and the primer that i'm gonna be using today is the smashbox primerizer i really like it because it's it's a very thin consistency, but it feels really nice on the skin and I like that it's a moisturizer because some primers can get a little bit too tacky. So I'm just going to put this all over my skin. I already have my moisturizer on, um, my toner, everything, so I already have like my skincare done, but I didn't have primer on. Just evenly distribute this. My face gets super red, so don't mind that. Um, I also put it down my neck just because I do put makeup on my neck. So make sure that's all set in place. So I like it because when you have a primer on your skin, you want it to be tacky because if it's tacky, it's gonna grip onto the foundation a lot easier. And you can see like this, it's not too sticky to where it makes you feel uncomfortable, but it's just the right amount to where you know that the foundation is gonna grip onto your skin really nicely. The foundation that I'm going to be using today, it's the Maybelline 24 hour foundation. I really like this because it's full coverage, but it doesn't make your skin look dry because it covers all of my redness and all of my scars. Um, it also looks really flawless on the skin. Um, don't judge me now, but my foundation does not match my neck, so I will be blending it down my neck. So the shade color that I am using is 120 Classic Ivory, and like I said, it is a little bit dark, um, but I do like my foundations to go a little bit darker than my actual skin tone, um, just because I like being a little bit more tanner than I am currently. I don't know the If you guys are looking for something full coverage that literally covers all your insecurities, all your past mistakes, life regrets. I recommend this foundation. You can tell it's not my color, but... I honestly don't know what my dog hears, but she sounds like she's ready to like pounce. But there's no one here, so I'm... I'm just a little confused. Oh, I feel like I move so much when I'm doing this. I think the foundation looks good. Next, I'm gonna be going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer in the shade Light Neutral. I'm gonna be going in with the concealer under my eyes. I like to go from the innermost corner outward like that. I'm um, just because I do get the most like purpley um, blue tones like on the inner corner of my eye. So I'm gonna do that on this side. Then I take a little bit on my chin down bridge of my nose and on the center of my forehead so that is all set in next I'm gonna just set the under eyes and set all the places that I put concealer just so it doesn't move and I want it to stay in the places that I applied it in um, I'm gonna be taking the Laura Mercier translucent powder and then I'm gonna be taking a morphe e48 it's like an under the eye brush but I'm just gonna quickly set it in place Next, I'm going to be going in and bronzing up the skin. So I'm just going to be using my Hoola Benefit bronzer. But I'm just going to be going in and adding some warmth and a little bit more dimension back into my face. So I did go in and bronze with the Hoola bronzer, but just for a little bit more warmth, then I am going to be going in with the NARS. Um, this is in the shade Laguna. This is one of their 
well-known bronzers. I really like the undertone. It's not too warm, but it's not too cool. So I feel like this really looks good on a lot of different skin tones. I'm gonna be going with that. And then I'm also gonna be taking the bronzer down my neck just cause we put the foundation down there. Oh, I don't even think I mentioned. This is the Morphe E4 brush. Now to go in and add um, blush, blush is like one of the parts where I go a little bit overboard sometimes, so I kind of have to watch myself. <laughs> this is the MAC blush in the shade Copper Tone. I really, really, anyways, I really, really like this blush. It is a warm tone color. I'm gonna take my Morphe M427 brush. I love Morphe brushes, as you can tell. Every single brush that I own is Morphe. They're so affordable and the quality is amazing. But I always buy the individual ones just because I feel like they are a little bit more expensive per brush, but I feel like the quality is a lot better when you buy them individually. That's just me. What do I know? I'm gonna go ahead and going in with this blush. I'm gonna try not to go overboard. What I forgot to mention, but I do like to do, um, I go in with the Morphe M13 brush, and then I go in with whatever bronzer I use. I'm just gonna go in with like the NARS bronzer. Lightly contour my nails. So I just add lightly. You wanna add some color, which is why I do also add the blush. Um, I feel like it adds a little bit of like sun-kissed type of vibes to it. The highlight that I'm gonna be using today, this is the Maybelline Master Chrome Metallic Highlighter in the shade, I think it's in the shade 100. I don't have, there's no sticker. It is a little bit too gold for my skin tone. I still go in with this highlighter just because it's my favorite and it is beautiful. This is the Morphe R12 brush. I have had this brush for like a year and a half maybe. I think they did discontinue the Rose Gold collection for some reason. Um, I might be wrong, but as far as I know, they weren't doing like the Rose Gold collection, but you can find any fan brush at Morphe or any other brand. I really like fan brushes when I don't want it to be super dramatic and I just want like a light layer of um, highlight. I don't know if you'll be able to see on camera. Maybe you will. When I tell you guys, it's such a, like, I, I can't, I can't lie. I can't make this up. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna take a little bit on my Cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin. I can't, this, I'm, I definitely, 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 definitely recommend this highlight. I got my mom. <laughs> I got my mom on this highlight, I got my tias on this highlight, my friends on this highlight, like I... Next is eyebrows. Once you have the foundation on, your eyebrows kind of disappear, so that's gonna bring them back. I'm gonna be using a couple products today. The first one is um, the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. This isn't my color, I think it's shade three. Um, it's a really ashy brown color and I'm more of like a chocolate brown for my eyebrows but I like going in with this just because it does stencil out the outline of my eyebrow and it does do like the shape really nicely and then next I go in and I fill that in with Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow pomade in the shade dark brown I love this I've had it for two years I stole it from my mom I'm literally I'm Scraping edges here. I'm literally just using the edges of <laughs> the little pot because I mean, it's still products. You just have to like struggle a little bit to get it out. I think I've had this for like three or four years almost actually. So she's been with me for a long time. I'm gonna go ahead and spoolie out my eyebrows really quick. Um, this is the Morphe E27 brush. It's has the brush on the end, but then it has the spoolie on the other end. And I just go in and spoolie my eyebrows. I haven't got my eyebrows done in so long. It's cause every single time I go and I get my eyebrows done, and I'm not trying to like rant here, but every time I go get my eyebrows done, the lady they're always like, your eyebrows are really thin. And I'm like, I understand. It, I can't really win. Like I said, I'm not trying to fill my eyebrow in with this. I'm just gonna go ahead and bring out the shape of my eyebrow. I really wish this was my shade because it's really pretty. I think I got it for Christmas um, and I really like it, but 
it's not my shade it is a lot lighter so next i'll be going in with the pomade um it is a little bit dried out so what i do is i just get some rose water this is my sister sorry sorry madison um i just spray it once and i get the brush and i kind of just mix it just because it is a little bit dried out so i just put a little bit of rose water because it does just soften up the pomade um and it makes it a lot easier to apply I also keep looking right here and not right here. Once I have a camera, this will be so much easier. Then the viewfinder will be like over there and I'm not gonna be like looking like this the whole time. I have to look straight in the camera. I just have to get used to it. Lunch break. Next, we're moving on to eyes. So this will be a little bit difficult because I'm recording on my phone so I can't zoom in but I'm not really gonna do anything super dramatic like I said this is more of like an everyday type of look first I'm gonna go in with a morphe r40 brush again I apologize I do think that the rose gold collection um, is is discontinued but it's just like a fluffy blender brush almost like the one that I use to contour my nose I'm gonna be going it back in with the hula bronzer and then I'm just gonna put that in the crease Nothing dramatic. But as you can see, it, it just adds a little bit of color to the eyelid. Just a little bit more, just to add the color. I found it. You can go ahead and leave this out. It's just if you have extra time. I am going in with the Stila. This is, I think it's the, the Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in the shade Kitten. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on my eyelid. I really like it because I can literally just use the applicator. I don't need an extra brush or anything. I'm just gonna put it from the inner corner to like the middle part of my eye just to add a little bit more like, mm, you know? So you can see it kind of is like a cut crease in a way, um, but just a lot less effort and I'm just gonna blend out like where I stopped I stopped it kind of like midway if not like a little bit less than like three quarters of the way of my eyelid I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that out with my ring finger just so it's not like a harsh line I'm gonna go in with the R39 brush by Morphe so that it, it's like a it's a blending brush but it goes from like thin to fluffy at the end. With this, I'm just gonna go in and just take my Laguna bronzer. You can go in with the same bronzer that we used before, but I'm lazy and I shouldn't be, but I am. Um, and I'm just gonna use the one that I have in front of me. I'm just gonna go in right here and just add a little bit more of like a darker bronzer. Like that. And this is literally the eye look. I don't even know if it's even, but no, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Going in and doing the same thing, so I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that. I have a separate case for my brushes. I don't know what that was. I have a separate case for my brushes, but I just get too lazy and I just put them in a bag with my makeup. So then I have a problem finding all the brushes that I need because they're just all combined in with my makeup, but I'm, I shouldn't complain because I can easily fix it, I just don't. Next, I'm gonna be taking the Morphe Y20 brush. I'm just taking the Laguna bronzer that I had and then I'm gonna be putting that under the eye. If you don't have time to be like putting liquid eyeshadow and like putting shadow on your lower lash line, that is totally okay and it's up to you. I'm doing it because I have the time. Um, and I'm just saying if you guys have like a lot of time and you want to do all these steps, go for it. If you don't have the time, like I said, you could skip the eyes, just put mascara and then be done with it. Um, I'm going a little bit, I wouldn't say like a little bit extra because this is a really, really simple eye look, but I am going a little bit more than I would on like a regular basis just to give you guys options of what you guys can do. Just trying to help you guys out. So I'm just gonna go with the bronzer on my lower lash line. 
Sorry, I'm using natural lighting because I don't have a ring light or anything. We're not fancy like that yet. Eventually. Ooh, I have to go in with some liner. Hmm. I don't even think this has any product if I'm being quite honest. But I'm gonna use the Tattoo Liner by Kat Von D in Trooper Black and I'm just gonna line just my upper lash line. So when you put the lashes on, there's not like a gap. <laughs> The least I can do is just make it even. Okay. Next, I'm gonna be going in with my lash curler and then this is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Full Fan Effect. I love this mascara. I've been using it for two, three years now, I would say. This is my favorite mascara in the world. So I'm just gonna, ah! Oh! <sighs> I didn't even curl my lashes. Ah! <gasps> oh! So then I'm just gonna put a coat of mascara. I usually put a couple coats, but I am putting lashes on. Um, so at least one coat would do, just because you, I don't really need to put a lot of mascara on because I'm gonna be putting lashes on, but I still wanted you guys to see with lashes and without lashes. Down the lower, don't forget. You could honestly leave it like this. But yeah, this is how it looks without lashes, but it still looks very awake and you look like you tried. I like it. This is literally what I do every single day, except I sometimes forget like putting like liner on the top. Um, I still think it looks really pretty. I think it looks really fresh, like you're ready for the day. I'm gonna go ahead and put lashes on. They're my favorite lashes. They're these ones. These are the Coco Lashes Queen B. I love these lashes, they're literally $6.99 I believe. These are literally my favorite lashes ever. They're very wispy um, and literally beautiful, literally. I have worn these a couple times so it's gonna make it a lot easier. There she goes again. I'm filming. She's so rude. They already are cut and customized to my eyes because um, I have worn them a couple times. So once you wear lashes a couple times, it makes putting them on so easy. I'm gonna be going in with the Duo Lash Glue. This is the brush on one, but this one's cool because it's like blue. It looks blue. It's cool, but it's just like a brush applicator. Let that air dry for like 30 to 45 seconds. If you put your lash on when the glue is still wet, it will slip and slide and it can ruin your liner. But as you can see, it did have its time to set, so I literally won't move. And then I'm going to apply the other one right now and I will be right back. These lashes are literally so pretty, I think. Good. Now to set all of this, I like to use rose water. You can use setting spray if you have some. I like setting spray too. But what I find I really, really enjoy is using rose water and then I just go in with my beauty blender and I go in with the flat side of the beauty blender and I just tap everything in just because it gets all the excess powders um, from your skin and it just like blends it all in and all seamlessly together. So I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna get the rose water. My lash doesn't want to cooperate with me right now. So I'm just going to get the bottom end of my beauty blender and just go in and just blend everything together. I am in love with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Balm in Fenty Glow. This is literally the best lip gloss I've ever used. It smells like, it smells like candy and it's so good, but it literally looks good on everyone with every single eye look. It's. I'm gonna go in and put on my hoops. I like to say this is the final look. This is the finished look. I really hope you guys like it. Um, I definitely feel like I will open up a lot more in future videos. I'm really happy right now because I finished it. 
I've literally wanted to put up YouTube videos since I was in high school. I'm so proud. <laughs> I deserve a thin mint. This is the finished look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it and I will be posting a lot more. I definitely have a lot of eye looks and makeup tutorials in mind for you guys. Go ahead and comment down below what you guys want to see, if there's any specific like colors you want incorporated in eye look. Okay, that is it for today. I really hope you guys liked it. I hope it was something easy that you guys can possibly follow and just kind of get some tips and tricks on things that I do. I really like the eye look. I think it's very effortless, but it also will look pretty on literally anyone who does it. Super easy, super quick, but I really hope you guys liked today's video and I will catch you in the next one. Bye. I couldn't post a first video without my best friend. Chanel, do you have anything to say to the audience? Go. Hi. Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs> I don't know.